So I want to show you today a little bit about how the dynamic tile works. And this is a dynamic subway tile that will allow you to really, really easily create uh, a backsplash or a wall or a floor or ceiling or whatever you'd like of tile. Um, the idea was here to make it easy for people to make tile uh, without having to copy and paste each individual tile. Uh, so when you first bring it in, it'll be configured something like this, and it will have these four scale grips. So if you select the tile after you've placed it, and you hit your scale tool, or S for scale, you'll get these four grips that you can change the uh, height or the width of the tile. So I'll go ahead and make it a little bit wider here, bring it over towards the cooktop, and click again, and this will take a little bit to recalculate. This is actually math-wise a pretty complicated dynamic component. Uh, so be patient and let it recalculate. And you'll sometimes get this message and just go ahead and say yes. And it will continue. And you see that it, it automatically resized. It was a subtle change, but um, it, it automatically resized the tile, maintaining the, the widths of each tile. And it even calculated the, uh, the cutoff pieces, not only on the right here, but along the top. Uh, so let's dive in and take a look at some of the options you have with this tile. And to get to them, you go to Dynamic Components and then to Component Options. And that will bring up this list of options that you have for this tile. So first we have what's called the tile panel width and the tile panel height. And you can control that like I showed you just a moment ago with the scale tool or you can actually type in specific widths and specific heights that you may have. Um, you also have what's called the tile backer thickness. So if we kind of turn this to the side here, it's a little bit difficult to see, but you'll see that the tile rests on a backer and you can control that thickness and you can also control the tile thickness itself and the grout width is controllable so right now we have a 1 8 inch uh, grout width here uh, you can change that to zero or as large as you want you can change the color of the grout material we have black white and gray available you can also change the tile height and the tile width. So right now we have an eight inch by two inch tile. Let's go ahead and make the tile 12 inches wide. So I'm gonna type in 12 and I'm going to hit enter. And you'll see that all the tiles width change to 12 inches. Now there's another, um, there's another dimension here that's kind of important. The height is pretty simple. If you change the height of the tile, the, the height will change, um, but tile offset. You'll, now you'll notice when I first brought this in that we had an 8 inch wide tile and we had what I'm calling a 4 inch offset. So that meant that each row of tile, the tile above it, was centered uh, to the one below it. That's not the case anymore because I made this tile uh, grow from 8 inches to 12 inches. So half of 12 is 6. So if I change the tile offset from 4 to 6, you'll see what happens. So I'm going to type in 6 and hit enter here or apply. And again, this will recalculate, and you'll see that these tiles to the left here, the starter tiles, are going to grow from 4 inches to 6 inches, uh, just like they did. And now the tiles are centered above each other. So that is how you use the, uh, the dynamic tile. This will certainly save you a lot of time when you're creating tile backsplashes or walls in, uh, in SketchUp.